What the fuck? It's 5.30 a.m. It's time to go to work. Something I always think about when I watch vlogs is how I definitely had to walk in, set up the camera, turn off the light, walk out, and then walk back in again just to get this shot of me waking up in the morning. Vlogs are weird. That's another one of my favorites. The put the camera on the ground, walk by pretending you don't see the camera, even though you're terrified somebody's gonna touch your camera or something's gonna happen to your camera. Normally when I fly into SF for the Star Wars show, I will have breakfast at the airport real quick and then head straight to Lucasfilm. But I just read about something in the city that I absolutely have to try. Goddamn robot made my coffee. This goddamn robot's taking all the jobs. I'd say it tastes emotionless, cold, calculating. Got this at that place across the street that has a robot make your coffee. Really? Yeah. When I think about it, it's not that different, right? Like the coffee's always made by a machine. I think the only difference is just like the robot arm hands it to you. Yeah. It's pretty much the same. Probably it might be more accurate. Yeah, right? It's probably this is probably the most mathematically uh, greatest coffee I've ever had. Andy, there's a raid starting. This is a cool leather jacket motorcycle Pokemon crew. We're off to fight in a raid. We're gonna get a cool surfing Pikachu that matches our cool leather jackets. This is the Palace of Fine Arts. It's very beautiful. Blah 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 blah. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> we got a minute. We're gonna make it. You won't kick us out. As long as we click into it, into a lobby before it, we're okay. <laughs> Battle. Hey, any of you all got that Pokemon Go? We could use. We could use two or three. We can handle it, but you know. Teamwork. I mean, we can handle it. I think these ladies play Pokemon. Y'all play Pokemon? Y'all got them pokes? Is that a weird way to ask? It might be. <laughs> you holding yep. pokes? <laughs> you wanna join our raid? You got, you got them premium passes? First pokes free. <laughs> what strategy are you using? Cause I'm using the one where you tap as fast as you can. Yeah, I'm trying to tap and then when it lights up, I hit the thingy. This is a very good video game. <laughs> I just wanna be the very best. Woo! Like no one ever was. But can, but can I catch this surfer boy? Can I catch the surfer boy of my dreams? That's the question. I believe in you. You've got so many balls. Thank you. Oh yes! Yes! Yeah. What a productive day we just had. Right? What a good day at the office. We're gonna go see Adam McKay. Adam We're gonna go see Adam McKay, Scott. What? Tell them all about your hero, Adam McKay. Oh my God, he was the head writer of SNL during my favorite years, my Will, the Will Ferrell years. Directed Big Short. He's doing Vice now. It was really amazing hearing Adam McKay. He's such a like genuinely thoughtful creator, and he had some really good advice on creativity and comedy. And I wanted to share some of it with you because it really struck me. Hey, how are you? First bit was always try to make art because if you shoot for art and you miss, you wind up making comedy anyway. If you shoot for comedy and you miss, you end up making garbage. You may not think of Anchorman or Talladega Nights as art, but Anchorman had something to say about sexism. Uh, Talladega Nights had something to say about American exceptionalism. You always have something that you're trying to say, something that you really mean, something that you really feel. 
your work will turn out better because of it. So his last thing was about the vomit draft. The vomit draft is like your first draft and you write it start to finish without stopping. You just get all your ideas out and don't worry about the quality of it. Don't worry if it's good. Don't worry if it's working. Just get it all down. But he added something to it which I find really fascinating. He says every vomit draft, he makes sure to get in nine things where if he heard about them, he would immediately pay to see the movie. So like nine ridiculous things, no matter what they are, just work them in and figure out how to make them all integrate and work well later. For Anchorman, he said, you know, if I heard that there was this movie where a dude got killed with a trident, I'd go see that. <laughs> so nine of those moments into your rough draft, no matter how crazy they are. So there you go, dice from a really brilliant filmmaker, a successful Pokemon raid, and a subservient robot making me coffee. I feel like that's enough for one day. I'm going home.